Good morning, everyone. Glad to see everyone on this Friday morning. Oh, what am I doing? I am going to the DMV to finally uh, get this beast. Oh, there's all kinds of glass there. Uh, get this beast registered. Um, we got this uh, car. I believe it was in May, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but because of all the coronavirus and everything, ah, uh, everything being shut down, we couldn't get it registered. We can get it insured and everything, but we could not get it uh, registered. We couldn't do it online. So we, we make an appointment to get it done and, and then uh, the lockdown got extended and we'd make another appointment then it would get extended again and so forth. So luckily everything is, I think everything is on lockdown. That's even how you're supposed to say it. But uh, then uh, I'm able to keep our appointment. So I'm going to do that real quick. Obviously, I can't bring you guys in. I think I got something hanging off my face. Bug. Anyway, um, I'm going to do that. And then uh, after that, um, we're going to do something that I've never done before. Um, that I think you guys will like. It's kind of cool. I think it will be, hopefully. So, I'll meet you. Well, not meet you. I will see you after I'm done with the DMV. guys as you saw as I was driving in I'm in a cemetery obviously by the, the statue um, I'm in the Grand Rapids Veterans uh, Cemetery um, what I'm doing here is I have no idea and I don't know anybody here but what I I did find out that there's a website that anybody can go to and what you can do is you can put in people's names and uh, date of birth, day they died. You put this in there, and sometimes, depending on the person, you can find information about that person. So what I'm hoping to do is because this, this cemetery holds the graves of everybody that, well, not everybody, but holds graves from every war every war that we've ever had from the Indian Wars Indian American Wars to present wars today so I mean there's people here from Civil War uh, whatever so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go around and see if I could put in some names and, and uh, dates and get some information and share that with you guys as you can see some of these don't even have dates of birth or the day they died so some of these aren't going to be all that easy to find information on um, 
I'm pretty sure that the area I'm in now is uh, Civil War era. So what I'm going to have to do is see if I can find any stones that have any dates on them at all. Okay, I did find one with a date on it. I think I have to bend over, my tripod doesn't go that high. Um, but it doesn't have any information on the guy. Um, it does say that he was a private, even though the stone doesn't show it. Um, and it also says that somebody has left flowers here in the past. And uh, this gentleman died in 19... 1929. It doesn't say when he was born. It doesn't say how old he was or nothing. So I'm going to keep looking. But I found Second Mount of Calvary. For those who don't know what the Second Mount of Calvary is, um, that was the uh, Second Dragoons, which later became Second ACR, which was the first unit I was in when I first joined the military. See the pennies? Supposedly, we're not supposed to do this. I asked permission to do it one year, and they told me it wasn't allowed. But obviously somebody's doing it, which is pretty cool, I like it. I'm gonna have to excuse the traffic noise. We're right next to the expressway. I think it's pretty cool. So, maybe I'll have to try to do this again here. However, I would need some serious help to do it here. There's, from what I've been told, uh, about 5,000 grave sites here. So, both uh, service members and their spouses. So, it would be a huge undertaking to uh, try to do this. Okay, guys, I've been here, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes, and I've been punching in names and dates and I have, I've come up with nothing except for one I know this one this gentleman here because uh, it's on their website as like a uh, uh, a prominent spot prominent grave um, let me show you and of course he's a Medal of Honor recipient so let me let me read what uh, what it says about him. Franklin L. Wilcox, Civil War Congressional Medal of Honor recipient, a native of New York. He enlisted in the Union Army at age 33, being mustered in at Brooklyn, New York City, into Company C, 48th New York Volunteer Infantry on December 14, 1863. He served in the Army until April 1864, when he transferred to the United States Navy, was mustered as an ordinary seaman and was assigned as a crew member on the USS Minnesota. In January 8, 1865, his ship was part of the combined Army and Navy assault and capture of Fort Fisher, North Carolina. 
lost my spot, which had protected the port of Williamston, Williamton. Uh, the one open seaport, or the last open seaport in the Confederacy. Seaman Wilcox was selected to be part of a temporary brigade uh, and sailors and marines from the, un- from the Union fleet who engaged, or I'm sorry, who enacted a direct assault on the fort on January 15, 1865. And he would have been awarded the CMOH Congressional Medal of Honor uh, for his bravery, bravery during the attack. His citation reads Landing on the beach with assaulting party from his ship, Wilcox advanced to the top of the sand hill and party through, through the breach in the I don't know what this that word is. Anyway, despite enemy fire, which killed and wounded many officers and men, when more than two-thirds of, of the men became seized with panic and retreated on the run, he remained with the party until dark when it came safely... When it came safely, yeah. When it came safely, bringing, bringing its wounded its arms, and its colors. One of nine Minnesota crewmen to be awarded the Medal of Honor in their actions during the assault. He was awarded his on June 22nd, 1865. That's some stuff right there. So, and I know there are other Medal of Honor uh, recipients in here. I've seen them before, but now I just, for some reason, I can't find them. Um, I'm going to look around for a little while longer, and we'll see what we can find out. Okay, guys. I pretty much looked everywhere, and I punched in a bunch of numbers and dates, and names, and so forth. And I just can't find anything else other than that one. Um, I thought for sure, seeing how they have a website talking about it, that uh, you'd find out you can't even see my face there'd be all kinds of information on at least some of these the veterans here but uh, right now I'm at an, the main entrance to the to the cemetery um, and like I said I've been all over in here I've been way down over there I actually came up this road and uh, I can't see any anything other than what I already found. I'm gonna call this one done after I do one more thing. Like I said, guys, I wish I would have found more information on some of these veterans, especially, you know, as old as um, the World War, not World War, but, well, yeah, even the World War ones. I 
mean, I seen I seen stones from the Korean War, the Vietnam War, obviously Civil War. So, I wish I would have been able to find more information on that for you guys. I was thinking I could, but evidently somebody's not entering information in their database or there's just no information to put in there, either one. So, anyway, I was hoping I'd, I'd do something a little bit more cool for you guys, but evidently not. So, I'm going to call this, call this done. I'm leaving the cemetery right now. And uh, in the meantime, I want you guys to stay alert, stay safe, Tuesdays pray, and I'll see you later.